hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful dress this was the inspiration i got and i decided to recreate it so if you're interested let's get started Girl, so to make this dress i'm going to be making use of this beautiful fabric here the name of the fabric is called scuba this particular one is a padded scuba so if you want to make something like this you will need this kind of fabric as well so let's get started with the cutting so guys first thing we're going to go ahead and do as you can see is i folded my fabric from one end like this into two like a triangle i hope you understand what i'm trying to say my table is so small so it's usually hard for me to be able to fully share stuff like this so after folding it twice i went ahead to fold it again as you can see so somehow it means that i am folding it into four places so now just to hold it in place because this fabric is actually very heavy to work with so you need to hold it with your pins so that it's not moving while you're trying to cut it and other stuff like that so this is also going to help um, hold your fabric in place when we are trying to draw our lines for the measurement because we are going to be taking our measurement directly on the fabric so guys the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a measurement from the top area so you're going to take a measurement of your shoulder divided by two so for me my shoulder divided by two is seven so that point where i have seven i just made a mark there and i'm just going to extend that line all the way to the end of the fabric so use your shoulder measurement divided by two to cut out this line so guys this line here is going to serve as our shoulder line so on this line i'm going in by three inches to get the how wide i want my neckline to be and i'm going to come down by four inches which is going to be my neck depth for the both the front and the back so as you can see i folded this fabric into four so we are cutting the front and the back together so from the shoulder line again i am marking that seven inches which is half of my shoulder measurement like i said earlier so after i'm taking that point i went down by one inch and i'm sloping it into the neckline so that's going to be my shoulder slope so from this slope here i'm going to go down to get my armhole line so i'm going to be leaving the formula on how you can get that on the screen so that you can easily get your so for me it was seven inches so i'm just going ahead to connect it and i just slanted it into the side so after doing that i'm just using my ruler to just make an armhole curve i'm not following any particular um, procedure for this because this is an armless top so i'm just making a normal curve for my armhole so guys the next thing i want to do is determine how long i want this whole dress to be so for the full length of the whole dress i want it to be 39 inches so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all mark 30 inches on the actual fabric on the actual dress the remaining nine inches is going to be the gathers that we are going to add under so from the center of the dress here i marked 30 inches so whatever your measurement is and whatever the amount of gathers you want to have you can go ahead and have that then on this side i am marking 25 inches which means that i'm removing five inches from what i have in the middle so that i'll be able to have that slant effect that you are seeing in the picture that we are following so i'm just going ahead to make this slant using my ruler so now just go ahead and cut it out so guys this is a free dress it's supposed to normally be free on your body but you still want to make sure that it has some fitting somehow so on this armhole area i'm just going to mark my bust measurement divided by four and i'm going to also add some allowances to that as well so that um, i'll have some allowance to stitch it down so i just make that point and i just slanted it into the other part of the sides so that's basically it for the cutting basically so i'm just going to go ahead and cut every other part of it out so guys this is what it looks like after i was done with everything after i was done with all the cutting and you can see the top area and then this down here you can see that it has that v effect at the end so this is basically it the next thing i want to go ahead and do now is to pipe the neckline because this it doesn't need lining 
it's already thick so we're just going to use bias to um, pipe the neckline i forgot to actually get this the actual color for this um fabric but whatever color you use is not really going to show in front because um you're going to turn it towards the back so as you can see i'm just pinning my black bias all the way around the neckline so i'll go ahead and make a first stitch all the way around and when i'm through making that first stitch i'll just go ahead and turn it in like this and top stitch to cover it up so i'll do that for both the front and the back pieces so guys this is what it looks like in front after i was done stitching it down so you can see how it looks at the back still the black bias is showing but if you turn it to the front it doesn't show so i've done it for the both pieces so now the next thing i want to go ahead and do is to stitch down the shoulder area so i'll go ahead and stitch this area down and stitch this area down as well and when we're through with that we'll work on the armhole area we're going to pipe it up just like we did on the neckline so guys i've stitched down the shoulder area as you can see and what's left is for me to go ahead and pipe this armhole just like i did on the neckline so this is what it looks like after i was done piping the neckline and the armhole so you can see this v in front um here so yeah basically the next thing i want to do is to just go ahead and join the sides so um i'm just going to go ahead turn it to the wrong side and join the sides by about half of an inch so guys after i was done doing that this is what it looks like on both sides this is seriously a very easy um dress to make trust me so the next thing now is we're going to go ahead and finish up this end and we're going to be using this long fabric here you know whenever i have to do gathers or pleats i always have a very very long piece so this is the long piece i'm going to be using so i went ahead to measure this out and i have 3 yards and 11 inches on the longest part and on the shorter part i have 10 inches so this is what i'm going to use to now pleat on the under part of the dress to complete the full length i want this dress to be so guys just like the picture we are following i tried to make uh, actual gathers on this um fabric itself my machine could not do it because it seems this is just too thick for my machine so it was jumping so i'm going to be using this bias to help me do it so first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to measure take the measurement i have here the measurement around the v and in front i have 36 inches and also i have 36 inches at the back because um the both of them are together right here so i went ahead to cut out a bias strip that is exactly 36 inches long as well it has some uh, allowances on both sides so that i will go ahead and use it to stitch it to the side so you can see it fits perfectly so i'm going to use this bias now to gather up my pleats that is going to be under the skirt so i'm leaving about two inches away from the top and i'm going to place my bias on it like this and i'm just going to make kissing pleats or whatever pleats you want to do on the one we are following they actually made gathers it's just that my machine will not be able to do that so i decided to go ahead and make kissing pleats but i'll be stitching on top of the bias strip that i have here i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but if you don't i'm going to be showing you what mine came out as so that you understand what i'm trying to explain so guys this is what it looks like after i was done using the bias strip to make my kissing pleats all the way around so this is what i was trying to tell you this is why i measured the this place and use it to measure my bias strip as well so i'm just going to use my tape now to determine where i want to place it so that it will be easy for me so i marked one and a half inch from the bottom of my dress or from the hem of my dress actually so i did it to one side and as you can see i'm just taking that measurement all the way to the other part of the v can you see what it looks like so i'll just repeat the same process at the back as well so now the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to open up one side of this dress i shouldn't have stitched it all the way to the end because it's not needed i need a space for me to be able to starch my stitch so i'm just going ahead to loosen it up a little bit i'm just going to loosen it up just a little bit above the white line i just made 
so guys now i'm just going to place the black line on top of this white line i made i'm just going to ensure that it follows it through all the way around and i'm just going to be stitching it like this i will just make a top stitch on the black line for both the front and the back so guys after i was done stitching it down this is just it's a very simple dress honestly the only hard part of it is just this pleats under so after i was done with it this is what it looks like can you see how it looks really nice really really nice actually i'm happy with the result that i got um so that's basically it for this tutorial guys so this is the final look on my mannequin and it looks absolutely beautiful this is the actual color of this dress not the one that the camera was showing us earlier so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one